Uh, ladies and gentlemen, new artist, but not really. <laughs> uh, she uh, has been on the scene for a while. Her sister got popping, and now she's popping. But she was already kind of popping, <laughs> but just never really got her just due. <laughs> her name's Mila J, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you got popping. <laughs> I had the pain. <laughs> thank you guys for having me. Nah, thank you for coming by. Um, let's get into it. Your song "Smoke Drink Break Up." A lot of people deal with that. They fall in love with somebody, mm -hmm. um, and then they realize when they're sober that they hate their guts. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is this based on a, a real thing for you? It is. It recent. is based on a true story. Is this um, it was. It, yeah, one of my more recent relationships. I mean, I'm not in it anymore, but because you guys smoke, drink, and yeah, you or broke we broke up, up. Right, exactly. Right, right, right. So. And, is, and that's essentially that's what you realize the relationship really is. That that's all you're doing is you're getting high. Well, you're the fact that you realize that you have to do that to deal with that person, then that's not that's not healthy. Yeah. yeah. The healthy only though. options you have. Yeah. Are smoke, I mean, drink, I'm not, and break up. I mean, I don't want to kill you, so you know, I ain't trying to end up on Snap. So yeah. So we, we just gotta break it up. Yeah, that's not a good situation. Will you tell us a little bit about your story though, because. <laughs> Um, obviously, a lot of people now are coming to me like, oh, my God, you're Janae Aiko's sister. Mm -hmm. But you were out first. Chris Stokes discovered you years ago. So tell people your your story a little bit. Um, well, pretty much I'm born and raised in L.A. Uh, I actually started off as a dancer. I was like like five or six. and um, you were, Wait, you were in a Prince video? Yeah, I was going to say that was like my first like official job in the industry or whatever like getting that book or whatever doing um the diamonds and pearls video or whatever super cali no, or, no, whatever. No, or whatever whatever you know what I'm yo but you hear you, diamonds and pearls video yeah I was you know how classic video. that's great yeah so and then from there but like my father was a musician like we grew up with a studio in our garage so we were just kind of always surrounded by music and so it just naturally kind of crossed over to that like from dancing to singing and just like putting it together i was actually in a group with my older sister um at the time called girl and then from there just kind and of, you were signed? Yeah. At that time, we were signed to um, MCA. And then were you signed? To, did you have another group, too? Yeah. Then I was in another group. So what was the name of the other group? Was this even better? Um, Dame Four. D Never heard of that one. I heard a girl. Dame I heard a girl, yes. Yeah. That was like... That didn't happen. Okay. Dame Four didn't happen. <laughs> Keep it, it like, real. It Just let's act like that didn't happen. Well, we had, like, we had one single. So it's like, all the groups I were in was kind of like, we had one single. So was that it? Was it just two groups? Yes. Okay. Two and, groups. and you danced for Immature? Yes. So you had IMX, IMX, yeah. if you will. Yeah. So you've had a hell of a run in this business yeah. to end up where you're in the spot you're in right now. Yeah. And like we grew up literally in the business. So. And had at a certain point a few years ago, were you done with the business? Were you like, I'm gonna move on and do something else? Um, I wouldn't say I was done, but I definitely needed a break. I felt like because I did have like setbacks, and, you know, just like okay, let me regroup, let me see what else I'm interested in, and then like kind of come back to it. So I did definitely take a break, but I did, I wouldn't say I like gave it up, like you know. I wasn't over it, but I did need a break. So did your sister's success motivate you to be like, hell yeah, I need to make this happen too? Um, well, it definitely motivates me, period, just because, like you said, we both started young and it's like finally, you know, popping off, but um, necessarily make me get back into it. Not necessarily. It just, just kind of happened. So you guys are three girls. Yes. So you're the middle child. Well, okay, so let me break it down. Okay, my daddy has like five. This, my daddy has like eight, but there's five of us oh. like... From my mom and my dad, there was five of us. Okay. And there's three girls and two boys. And okay. Then, um, yeah, but technically I do have another uh, older stepsister. I mean, half sister So are you guys like this just mixed Asian black community of like eight siblings and you guys are all like from the hood in LA? Like paint the picture for okay, well, okay, Because I hear older, it in your voice. I hear <laughs> the older two are actually like Portuguese and like black and Native American. And then me, us set of five with my mom, uh, we're Japanese, black, Native American. Then my younger sister, she's mixed with Mexican, black, and Native American. So we're like all oh, just wow. kind of like super mixed up. But to answer your question, I mean, no, I'm not the middle. I'm the middle sister, but I'm not the middle child. This is child. complicated. Okay, yeah. You guys Woo! are mixed and Yeah, mixed it's like and... we're a whole clan. It's the Chalumbo <laughs> clan. You know what I'm saying? So, Your sister, though, however, um, I'm sure she's had people coming after her, like now that she's popping. Mm -hmm. Are you are you like the Solange <laughs> In what your does that family, mean? Like, are like you you'll, super overprotective? You'll spaz like, on somebody if they come somebody? at your sister? Yeah. I mean, yeah. If somebody comes out there the wrong way, I would definitely... Because you look I'm like a, you I'm can a fight. Her, like, you look like you I'm can fight. I'm the older sister, so... Yeah, she's probably... You've scrapped a couple times, right? In LA, I mean, but, I, but you know what's funny, though? I'm not like... I get along with everyone. It's like, seriously, I'm such like... I mean, I am yeah. feisty, 
but, but you know, like I'm nah. You went with the whole <laughs> I'm a Pisces earlier thing. I'm a Pisces, so I already know what it is. You get I get along no. With I'm everybody. not a Pisces. I'm a Scorpio. Oh, oh she's the Pisces. Oh, so she's you're a crazy person. Yeah, you are a crazy person. Listen, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm claiming I'm claiming. I'm a Scorpio. Wait, what's so, your birthday? November fourth. I'm the 18th. See, yeah, see, no. November ones are real ones too. Yeah. November's the realest. I agree. No, it's the truth. No, I'm saying it's just it's a slight difference between October Scorpios and November Scorpios. No, I don't That's even all. mess with October Scorpios. It's the worst. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Oh, really? About. <laughs> but, but no. no, you look like a crazy person. Like, you will fuck somebody up. Like, be be honest. I You've mean, been in some fights in your life. You're from L.A. I mean, you pr- plus I mean you got just pretty admit hair. it. Admit it. Admit it. You can be a little jealous. I, yeah, a little yeah. possessive. Well, we just... We're, yeah, we're possessive. Uh huh. Not jealous though, but I am possessive. A little with people o- that I love. Overprotective with you the know? people that you love. Mm-hmm. And you won't but take loyal. no shit from a, a crazy bitch. Yeah. Crazy. You just trolled her into everything she just said. <laughs> Thank Lois. you. She's but a Scorpio because she because knows. It, that's how I am too. Scorpios understand other Scorpios. Mm, very interesting. So you're a freak in the bedroom and you're real passionate and you fight a lot. You just added. But I don't really <laughs> fight a lot though. <laughs> Well, no, nah, because the single smoke, drink, break up is obviously. But yeah, in, in, in relationships, I, I do kind of fight a lot. But See? not, I'm not saying no, not physically or anything. And look how she jumps around from something. That's how you know she's crazy town. <laughs> no, I am. My, my attention span <laughs> is very short. I, it is. But I'm drinking coffee, though, too. That's not going to help you. No, she's turning up. Mila J, ladies and gentlemen. That's all she needs. So y'all just made me look crazy. Now, Ebro, hold on. You can't talk about Mila J without talking about Thirst Trap Thursdays. Um, this young woman. Looks like a very nice, sweet, down to earth. Don't try girl. to rename Thursday. What do you mean? Oh, it's re- it's it's unfollow Thursday's a thought Thursday. unfollow a thought Thursday. Unfollow a thought. And you're unfollow. always starting on still Thursday. And you follow me, so clearly I'm not a thought. Thank you. That's true. I definitely still follow. He considered you for the unfollow though. I uh, wait. What picture? That is so not true. You were starting on Instagram. I was not. Yeah, you had, on Instagram. you had duck lips. You had duck lips. Oh yes. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> oh yes. You, yeah, violation. <laughs> you do. You, I didn't know that. You set thirst traps everywhere. But like, no, that kissy face and duck face are different, though. Did I do the duck face? You do know. like you have like dance poses where she's all like looking like a lot of abs. You show a lot of lot abs. abs. Lot of yeah. abs. Yeah. But that's thotting. not that's thotting. that's not thotting. Mm-hmm. Do you agree? Showing abs is not thought. No, it abs? depends on how you're showing them. I'm t- now, it's thought if you showing it but saying, oh, I love my new necklace. <laughs> <laughs> my thing is, if I'm going to show it, like, oh, if I'm going to show my cleavage, I'm going to be like, yep, under boob, peekaboo. Oh, I'm going to your- say it. I'm not going to act like I'm trying to show off my new <laughs> tattoo. Like, that, to me, that's thought oh, what about when the thong is showing from the sides? I mean, like, <laughs> and yeah, but acting like it's about, like, just something completely different. Like, shorts, oh, right. I love my new sheets. Like, no, you're clearly showing your ass so I'm just saying so claim it I'm just saying you do you do create a certain level of thirst among people generally speaking I've seen her do it I watch well, the comments yeah but you thirst after her though. exactly I, I fall for the trap actually I get which is why I get parched sometimes we brought you this <laughs> oh my <laughs> Oh my God! Thank you. <laughs> so this is to quench Yo. all the thirst you develop. Yes. Well, that's, thank you. That's just for you. I sh- I share this with the other men of you Instagram. You're only drinking on Thursday, though. Who thirst after <laughs> Mila J's picture? Thank yeah, you. Incredible. The name of the brand of the water I've never heard before. Right? Nice. Nice. <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, it's like good packaging, right? Yeah, nice. Yo, shout nice out to water. nice spring nice water. water. Y'all nice. love it today. Fab voice. <laughs> nice. Nice water. <laughs> um, wait, before you proceed, I want to play her new single. Okay. All right. Smoke, drink, break up. Let's get that on good for song. the people. Yes. Um, there's a lot of dialogue that's happening here that I can't participate in. I just feel left out. So what we're going to do is we're going to start a new segment with you, Rosenberg. Hmm. It's called Black Girl Talk. Oh, <laughs> no. You're talking about BGPOV? <laughs> that black girl's point of view. Who's going to be the black girl? Rosenberg. Oh. No, I'm going to bring in Brittany Sky and Mila. So I have two black girls with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys could get deeper into <laughs> Mila J. That's what I'm talking about. Dysfunctional relationships. Yes. Oh, it is time to kiki and spill tea. That's right. It's BGPOV, that black girl point of view, with our guest today, Mila J. Hey. Hey. I like the hey. Can I get a high five too? Yeah, yeah. Brittany hey. Sky is here. Hey. Talk about it. We got a kiki. You're outnumbered. I know. I like it. Oh, no, we're not outnumbered. <laughs> oh, it's We're all here. We're all here. Yes, yes. bitch. Yes. yes, bitch. Yes. yes. All right, it's time to give tea. Is that what we do? Yes. We spill the get, tea. We spill the tea, Mila J. Okay. So let's talk, Spills. first of all, the biggest thing of the weekend. Kimye married. Oh, yes. Congratulations. He yes. sure did. I actually just found that out too in the car. You didn't know that they were getting married. I really didn't know. Wow, you you're really busy. 
Well, I mean, I ain't busy, but not not to say like that. I just, I don't be watching TV, and I don't go online like that. Well, can we still? So I literally, from Instagram, I found out. I was uh, like, oh. Yeah, everybody found out from Instagram. Yeah. Can we still kiki on this, even if she didn't know about it? Yeah, she saw it on Instagram. Um. So, first of all, how do you feel about J and B? No kiki. They didn't even go to the wedding. Were they invited? They were invited and didn't show. They decided to do something else. And well, they maybe just, they were busy. Hmm. You don't feel any type of way about it. I mean, I don't know. It feels like, feels like shade. Feels like shades being thrown. Shade? Feels right. like no, shades no, no. being thrown. <laughs> I feel shade being thrown but from B. But they're all on the throne. What do you mean? They are all on the throne. But you know what I'm saying? One spot on the throne's got a little bit more shade than the other spot. You know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> all right, let's move right along. There's another big subject going on, of course, relating to J and B. You saw what happened with Solange. I did. You saw that. I saw. I seen that. You seen that. Mm. You got to tell us what would it take for Mila J. To have a situation where she would solange the shit out of someone. Because she put the beats on him. She put the... Talk <laughs> about it! She put the beats. What would it take? I mean, obviously, disrespecting a family member or somebody that I love. Mm. Um, yeah. So if someone came out of their out of their face sideways to your sister, Janaiko, you'd go buck Willie. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's reasons why I, could, why I would do that. I mean, I wouldn't want to resort to violence, but, you know... Let's end this on a positive note. This first episode of BGPOV. Here's what I want to ask you, girl. Who would you say, what woman that's out there do you think is the most beautiful? Or dare I say, the most snatched? You know what I'm saying? Who? Is that the way? Brittany, is that right? Is that, is that right? She's using it and don't Pass even chance. know. Who's the most snatched right now? You know what I'm talking about, Mila J? Oh, um... Actually, I just saw in the airport. I think Angelina Jolie is. Ooh, talk yeah, about it. She's like on the cover. Did y'all see that? Yeah, like her spread is. is crazy. She looks beautiful. Yes, yeah, mom. Mm. It's like nine pictures. They're like flawless. You didn't see it? No. Oh. Am I messing up? I'm yes. not trying to throw shade. Yes. Ooh, sure. Sorry, Angelina. <laughs> I ain't trying to throw shade. I'm gonna go see your little feature. Go. Oh, I said little. Little. I no, said it's little. not little. It's not little. It's big. It's big. All right. Did we did we cover everything? Did we kiki, Brittany? I think we kikied. What is kikiing really, Mila? Do you know it's what kikiing just... means? Kikiing is like I know what it means, but I can't explain it. It's, it's just like, like we're talking, laughing, like kiki, like it's all friendly. So it's just like hee 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 kiki. Yeah. Like, like catching shake, up good times. Yeah, like shaking like, hands hey, and yeah. kissing babies. So this is sort of what that is. Yeah. How do you think I've done as a black girl today? You need some coaching. Yeah, on one to a ten, you're like probably like a two or three. Two or three? <laughs> yeah. That's not a bad start for a white guy. Trying yeah. to be nice. But for your first one, I mean, you gotta start somewhere. For my first one. Exactly. This has been BGPOV with Mila J. Tee-hee-hee, Kiki, spill tea. <laughs> Mila J, thank you for coming by and having fun with thank us. Thank you guys and, for having me. And look, we'll, uh, we're very proud of you. Glad thank you've you. come a long way. You've earned your slot. And uh, song's dope. Thank and you guys And big up to your sister me. as well. And thank, thank her. We haven't actually sat down with her. But yeah. uh, thank her for coming out to Summer Jam and supporting the station too. I'll let her know. She's actually out here too. Oh, she is? Yeah. Tell her to swing by. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell her. <laughs>